Hey guys, it's me, Rod Marquez. In today's video, I'm gonna be fishing from shoreline. I'm gonna show you how to catch a spotted bay bass on a swim bait. Let's go. The goal for today is actually to catch at least three spotted bay bass from shore. I'm gonna be starting from the bridge over there and then walk my way all the way over here from shoreline and I'm not gonna leave until I catch three spotted bay bass. So the gear of choice today is gonna be a Akuma California spinning reel, a TBF 40B California spinning reel. I have 20 pound braid on 12 pound fluorocarbon as a leader line. This cloudy conditions and this low tide conditions right here makes it ideal for me to throw a nice lightweight swim bait and a nice color swim bait to mimic the bait fish in the area and to mimic these gloomy skies. Let's go. You want to cast as far as you can next to structure wherever you think the bass are going to be. Spotted bait bass are just like largemouth bass. They like structure, they like shade, they like environments where they can ambush their prey. So if you're throwing a swim bait that mimics a nice little bait fish and you're throwing in environments where they most likely are, you increase your chances of hooking up on a spotted bay bass. All right, just analyzing this environment, there's a lot of muscle right there. So I'm gonna cast my swim bait right next to the structure there. Let it fall down to the ground. Position my rod at a 45 degree angle and nice little constant retrieval rate. Five minutes later. Got one, there it is. <laughs> A little spotty on that swim bait. Structure fishing, look at that. I'm gonna keep this guy somewhat wet here. Not ever touching the sand. I want this guy to be nice and strong when I release this guy. Nice spotted bay bass. See you, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. Awesome. So I only caught that one bass over there under the bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and move on and look for a different spot where I think spotted bay bass are. Extremely low tide right now. Let's cast in this spot right here. Casting about like 20 or 25 yards. Ooh, getting a little nibble. I'm getting little nibbles here. I'm getting little nibbles here. Some eelgrass, but that's okay. Spider bay bass. Love the eelgrass. So I'm just gonna swim this a little bit faster here, keeping my rod tip a little bit more higher, making that swim bait swim right over that eelgrass. See, I'm not getting caught anymore. Some bait fish jumped. That's a good sign. There it is. There's the spotty. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. Whoa! Nice little, nice little spotty on that swim bait. Nice coloration right there. That's so awesome. Yeah, I might be on a good spot actually. See ya. There's another one. <laughs> Small guy, but another spotted bay bass. Another spotted bay bass on the swim bait. That's three spotties from shore. That's cool. I definitely picked the right color. See you, buddy. Cast again. Traditionally, I like having my rod tip at a 45 degree angle, but since I'm fishing in shallow areas where eelgrass are coming up, I'm, I'm hovering. Oh, another one. 
Oh, wow. I'm hovering that rod tip a little bit higher than 45 degrees because I don't want that swim bait to be hitting the floor. That's four spotted bay bass, guys. That's so awesome. <laughs> All right, see you, buddy. I like the lightweight swim bait because if I'm swimming a heavier presentation swim bait, then it's going to be dragging on the floor and it's going to definitely be caught on the structure and a lot of the eelgrass that I'm fishing. Ooh, getting hit. Oh, there it is. There's the fifth one. <laughs> Man, this guy is super small. But it is a definitely, but it is a spotted bay bass. And my fifth one for today. Look how big this swim bait is in respect to this spotted bay bass. These spotted bay bass are definitely aggressive and they'll, they'll eat the same size. They'll try to eat the same size bait as them. So I'm going to have to switch my swim bait out. These spotted bay bass are very vicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to switch it out. Oh my gosh getting hit yeah getting see look getting hit by the tail right here it's not fully committing just cast again right at the same spot wind is blowing so i might have to call it pretty soon i don't know if you've you ever fished in pretty windy conditions it's not really ideal oh god it's hard to tell oh hard to tell The, the wind is coming towards me right here so i'm actually going this way so you guys could potentially hear me there it is there's my last fish <laughs> there it is <laughs> and it's not a big one <laughs> but hey it's gonna be my last fish of the day because the wind is kind of blowing here hi right, buddy see ya I hope you enjoyed this video fishing from shoreline hopefully that gives you a nice little tutorial of how to catch a spotted bay bass on a swim bait give me a comment below give me a thumbs up let me know what kind of video you would like to see next let's say if we get more than 200 likes on this video then i'll make another video for you guys again my name is rodney marquez and always always thanks for watching see ya